What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the new Meta Marketing Analytics Professional Certificate on Coursera. Now you did hear that correctly, Meta has come out with their own professional certificate, much like Google and IBM has on Coursera as well. It really just seems like big tech companies are trying to come out with their own professional certificates these days. So I'm sure we'll see Uber or Snapchat or Twitter coming out with their own professional certificates within the next couple of years. But regardless, a bunch of people on LinkedIn started messaging me, asking me about this course, if I recommended it, if I liked it, all of that stuff. And I basically said I'd never heard of it. And so I enrolled and I started watching all the videos and doing all the stuff. And I took a ton of notes for you guys so that I could give you a good review on this course. But before we jump onto my screen and actually start looking at these certification, I wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video. And that is Morning Brew. Morning Brew is a daily email newsletter covering everything from the latest news from Wall Street all the way to Silicon Valley. I started using Morning Brew several months ago because I wanted to stay up to date on a lot of these topics. I just didn't have a lot of time to actually do that. I personally like their information on things like crypto and tech because that's a lot of the things that I look into and I'm interested in. Morning Brew gives you quick snippets of the things that you're actually interested in and you don't have to spend a long time reading it. It typically just takes a few minutes to actually read. One of the best things about Morning Brew is that it's completely free. All you have to do is provide an email and they will start sending you a newsletter with topics that are relevant to you. To sign up today, click the link in the description at morningbrewdaily.com slash alextheanalyst. Again, thank you so much to Morning Brew for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's jump onto my screen and take a look at the certification. All right, so this is the Meta Marketing Analytics Professional Certificate. Um, it's kind of a tongue twister if I'm being honest, and it's offered by Meta, just like the Google certificate is offered by Google and the IBM certificates are offered by IBM. And now Meta's getting into the game as well. And as you can see, there's 20,000 people already enrolled. Now, this is a new certificate. It only came out maybe like a couple months ago. So not a ton of people have taken it, but I will show you some of these ratings on specific courses. Uh, and I'm going to do that very specifically because some of them are ranked very high and some are ranked not super high. And I'll explain why. I have gone through just about every single one of these courses, um, except for the capstone at the end and a few videos here and there because I just didn't want to watch it all the way through. Um, so I feel like I've gotten a really good sense of this certification as a whole. But really quickly, let's go down here. Look at some of the things that you're going to learn in this course. So you're going to collect, sort, evaluate and visualize marketing data, test hypotheses, uh, summarize and analyze data using marketing analytics methods and use Meta Ads Manager to test ad effectiveness and evaluate the results. So near the end in the fifth course, you're actually going to look at Meta's own ad strategies and platform where you can create ads and, and use them and track the data and everything. Um, and so if you're looking to do that, if that's something that you're interested in and specifically want through Meta or Facebook, this is going to be super specific to you, um, but it may not be as generalized as some of these other courses like the Google and IBM ones, which are more generic. This one kind of hones in on the marketing side, the ad side of things. So keep that in mind. Now, one thing before we actually jump into the courses and start taking a look and you hear my thoughts is that this is a marketing analytics course. This isn't a data analytics course. So like the Google data analytics professional certificate was very data analyst focused. This one is very marketing analytics focused, no surprise, but there are some key differences in some of the tools that they use, as well as some of the language and the way that they use data. All right, so let's go back down and take a look at the courses. So we have the Marketing Analytics Foundation, Introduction to Data Analytics, which has a 3.4, and I'll explain that in a little bit. Statistics for Marketing, Data Analytics Methods for Marketing. We have the Marketing Analytics with Meta, and that's the course that I was referencing, which is very meta specific. And then at the end, you have the certification exam, and you can only take that if you've completed every other course until that point. So let's jump into it really quickly with the very first one. And like I said, I took a ton of notes while I was actually doing this and walking through this because there was a lot to cover. So here's what I'm going to tell you is that first, it covers a lot of really interesting things. I genuinely believe that. But I had this moment when I was walking through this first course where I was like, this may be the most boring course I've ever taken. I'm just being genuine with you, okay? It was extremely dull. And that's for me. I've taken a lot of courses over my time. I've reviewed a lot of courses like this. This one was amongst the dullest. 
Um, the lady who actually does it, and I can pull something up really quick. The lady who actually does it right here, uh, she is kind of funny to watch, but she talks just kind of slowly and she makes these weird like movements. Um, let me see if I can play this and you can see it really quickly. So she just has like interesting facial expressions and the way she kind of moves is like, I don't know, I just found it funny. But you go through a lot of the really basics. I'm looking at week four, but she talks about what marketing analytics is in week one. And I'll go back there really quickly. So she talks about like what is marketing analytics and that's the first like four weeks. It's just an introduction to what marketing analytics is, the kind of data you'll look at and like I said, it was extremely boring. But if you don't know anything, if you're completely new to marketing analytics, it is actually pretty informative. But again, I just found it extremely dull. Now let's go on to the introduction to data analytics. Now, this one is super, super interesting. And I'm going to show you this rating really quickly because I will say that this section was the best one by far if you compare it just to the first one. This is one of the most interesting ones. So let's look at these ratings really quickly. Um, and we're going to look at all reviews. Now, these these reviews that people put in here are extremely valid. And I completely agree. There was some issue with the grading system in here. I ran into the exact same issue. Um, and so a lot of people were complaining about that. And also some people were saying that they that the actual skills that you walk into or that you look at, which I'll get to a little bit, they just didn't go deep enough into them. And so I will give you my own thoughts on that in just a second. But there are a lot of one stars that are basically like, this is not that great. Um, you know, this one says data camp website is better, uh, bad for me. Trying to get assistance, couldn't get it. These are a lot of the one stars. And let me just say, I think there's kind of spot on. So take this one with a grain of salt, but I'm going to go into it um, with my initial impressions that I had while I was walking through the course. So in week one of the second course, the introduction to data analytics, uh, you look at things like setting goals and KPIs. And the most interesting thing was this awesome is kind of how he said it. Awesome framework, which is obtaining, scrubbing, exploring, modeling and interpreting data. And I had never heard of this. So when I was watching this, I was like, this is actually pretty interesting, this idea or this you know, framework, basically. And I like this guy. Again, he's, he's kind of a character. He's just let me see if I can pull him up. Um, I did like this guy. He was he was fairly interesting. Um, and what I really liked about him was is I feel like he knew the technical skills that he's teaching you. So one, let's go to week two. Week two is where we start actually doing some programming. We, we start learning some Python, some SQL, some Tableau, uh, and even some Excel and Google Analytics. So all of these things that we're taking a look at, this guy seems to know it pretty well. Um, and so we start diving into Python, which I'm a huge fan of Python. I will say that the Python in here was one it was this it was super general at first and i was kind of concerned i didn't want it to be too generalized because he kind of just goes into what is python how you install jupyter notebooks which again uh, another thing but then it starts getting really specific they start using pandas showing you how to create data frames showing you how to pull csv files in how to clean the data in python all things that i really liked and i thought he actually did a really good job i have you know, taking a ton of Python tutorials in the past. And this one was actually pretty good. You also learn things like Google Sheets as well. So how to use Google Sheets and how that interacts with Python. And then he starts going into Tableau where we look at visualizations. Now, I think the Tableau section was one of the smallest Tableau sections I've ever done. My series on my channel of Tableau was actually quite a bit more in depth than this one right here. So I wasn't super happy with the Tableau section. The Python one, I was happy. And then for the last piece, you have this capstone project, which I just looked at it. I didn't actually do it, but it's basically cleaning data with Python. On to course number three, statistics for marketing. Um, OK, so before we jump into this one, I just want to say the instructors for this certification were just really interesting. Every single one of them was a character. This guy specifically was a character because it seemed like he was filming from his basement. Um, 
And my dad walked in while I was like looking at this and he's like, oh, you're doppelganger. And then he was like, why does he look like he's in a basement with just like this black background and like one creepy light? And it feels like that's what happened. Like the other two people had good backgrounds, good audio. And then there's this guy. Um, let me see if I can get him while it's just him. I mean, it looks odd. It does not look like he's using professional equipment. It just, it's, it's, and the audio is not great. Yeah, not my favorite instructor, but the actual information that he teaches was really good. And I walked through a lot of these. Um, I didn't walk through every single one, but they were walking through things like the des design and hypothesis testing, um, creating A-B testing and how they do that. And then at the end, common mistakes in statistics. All of these were really good. And this was just week three. All these things were really good. And while I was actually walking through them and taking these and watching these videos, I remember thinking, wow, a lot of this is a lot of stuff that I've worked with um, just on data analytics side. And it's actually really relevant. So I think the actual content that they've done is pretty good. You also look at a lot of statistical modeling, linear regression and classification methods, cluster analysis, time series, choosing a model. Um, while I was going through here, I often thought, why do they have this in a marketing analytics course? Because a lot of this stuff, like, you're really never going to use in analytics. Um, you know, linear regression, I guess, yes. Maybe some statistical modeling, but cluster analysis, time series, well, yes, yes to time series, uh, creating models. Like, a lot of this stuff wasn't 100%, in my opinion, related to marketing analytics. So, again, I liked a lot of the content that they had, but... There was some that I just felt like wasn't really relevant or things that you needed to know or learn. All right, let's go on to the data analytics methods for marketing. This is course four. Um, I thought this one was really good. Maybe the best one so far, if I'm being completely transparent, um, because I feel like a lot of these concepts were very analytics or, or marketing analytics specific, whereas a lot of the previous stuff was either super basic concepts, or it didn't go super in depth into the actual skills that, that I was thinking that they would teach you, like Tableau. I wish it had gone further in because marketing analytics does use Tableau or other visualization tools. I wish they had gone into that further. But this one, I feel like they did the best with so far. Um, week one, and you got the, the first lady who moves a lot. So she kind of walks you through that. And then you start going into predictive analytics customer lifetime value, forecasting and linear regression. Let me go to week three. Advertising effectiveness, measurement introduction. So how do you actually measure the effectiveness of an ad campaign or things or your advertising? These are things that I thought were really specific to marketing analytics that I was like, okay, this is actually really good content, probably the best content out of the course so far. So if you already know all the skills and the kind of the introductory stuff, this is a course I might just take by itself because I felt like it actually provided a lot of value. Um, whereas the other ones, not as much value. But let's go on to number four, um, where they look at marketing mix modeling, attribution modeling, sales funnel analysis. The sales funnel analysis was actually super interesting because, you know, I market my YouTube videos. I market, um, you know, other things and events and stuff like that. This sales funnel analysis was really, really interesting. Um, and I and so, again, just things that I don't work with because I'm a data analyst in healthcare. I don't work with this mar marketing analytics stuff sometimes. And I found it really fascinating. And course number five is marketing analytics with meta. Now, this one was very meta specific. So if you are looking to learn how to work with meta's advertisement system and, and do their analysis in their program, which is kind of what they want you to do through this course. This is going to be perfect for you because that's all they do. So let me go to week, week two. You look at their ads manager. You start looking at, um, you know, your results of your ad campaigns on the analytics and they walk through these things and they actually show you the ad manager and walk you through them. I'm not going to go into it too much because honestly, you won't get much out of it. Um, I'm just going to kind of walk through the weeks and what you learn. So then you look at evaluating ad effectiveness and conversion lift tests, um, ad effectiveness and brand lift tests. I'm going to keep going. You can do A-B testing within Meta. 
which is really great. I love um, A-B testing. Marketing mix modeling. And then on the last week, recommend measurement solutions and performance analysis and generate insights and provide data-driven recommendations. So it all happens within Meta's marketing manager or their ad manager. And if that is something that you really want to learn, this is actually really fascinating, but it's not relevant to me as a data analyst who doesn't do anything with this stuff. So, you know, I didn't, get a ton from it, nor did I take a ton of like, oh, I need to remember this. You know, I was just kind of skimming through, but it was very meta specific, which again is why they created the certifications that you learn their software, their ad campaigns, their managers that you use their systems. And then lastly, course six is just the meta marketing science certification exam. And it's just that I can't even enroll in it because I didn't finish every course. But if we look at the syllabus, you basically just take and prepare for the certification. You pass the quiz and you get the certification. Overall, what do I think of the course? I think it is pretty good, but I don't think it's as good as the counterparts like the Google Data Analyst Certification or the IBM Data Analytics Certification. Of course, this one is marketing analytics focused. And so the other ones, you're not gonna get as much information on marketing analytics. This one is super focused on marketing analytics. And so I actually did find it on several occasions very fascinating. I'm like, this information is really useful and good, especially if you want to get into marketing analytics. But one of the biggest things that I was disappointed in is that they don't go super in depth into the skills that you need to really do your job. And they talk about like data cleaning and stuff like that in Python and SQL. And honestly, the SQL section was really, really simple and basic. You didn't learn that much. The Python was by far the best but their Tableau section, their Google Sheets section, uh, it wasn't great. I was kind of disappointed. I was like, man, you just gave them, you just gave these, the people who are trying to get the certification, just like the bare minimum. Whereas in the Google certification and the IBM certification for data analysis, both of them went a lot more in depth, very specific. Here's what you need to know. Here's what you need to learn in these skills. And then they taught you how to do that. I felt like they did a much better job than this one. So who do I recommend this for? I really am only going to recommend it if you're looking into marketing analytics, of course. I don't think data analysts, business analysts, healthcare analysts, or anybody else is going to get any value from this. If you are looking to get into marketing analytics, this is a good introductory course. I think a lot of the concepts on statistics ad campaigns, how you actually analyze your ad spend and the data that comes from that, those things are really interesting. So I think that if you're wanting to become a marketing analyst, this is a good place to start, but I really think you're gonna need to take additional supplemental courses on Python and SQL and Google Analytics and all these things that they kind of touch on in here. Python might be the only one that you don't have to do a ton of extra stuff, but again, everything else, I was just like, I wish they had done more. It just seemed really simple and too basic. So I would rate this maybe a six out of 10. I don't think it was fantastic. I don't think it was bad. I just think that they could have done better in certain areas. Uh, and the instructors were not the best instructors I've ever seen. I think they just picked people out of meta who were like interested in doing it or they had like a lottery system and you know, the guy with the creepy background uh, in his basement got chosen, but it was not like the highest end group of presenters overall. If you're going into marketing analytics, this is a good introduction. If you're looking into the meta ad manager, this would be pretty interesting. Besides that, I don't really recommend it. So I hope that this video has been helpful in helping you choose this course or not. I appreciate you watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below and I will see you in the next video.